Hello everyone, VegasVic1965 and welcome to my What If series. Over the next several weeks, I'll be doing some videos on What If and that is uh, right now the Mesa. So the, the Mesa doesn't have a village, but if it did have one, what would the village look like? And what I have done in this series or what I'll be doing is going over all the different professions, the profession buildings for each and every villager, as well as a number of the houses that uh, What If there was a village in a mesa so i hope you enjoy these this series of videos and without further ado let's find out this week on the what if the mesa had a village we look at the cartographer and his building he has a two-story building and why not uh he can't really get a survey of the land on the first floor can he so with this balcony he can take a look and do a survey and in a moment we'll take a look and see what we need to build this to build the cartography building we're going to need 24 cobblestone one cobblestone stair we'll need 33 smooth red sandstone 29 dark oak planks 64 cut red sandstone 14 chiseled red sandstone we'll need 84 yellow terracotta four glass panes 45 smooth red sandstone slabs, 7 dark oak fences, 1 dark oak pressure plate, 12 dark oak stairs that will be used for awnings, 1 yellow bed or a bed of your color you're choosing, 1 oak door, a chest, cartography table, 20 dark oak buttons, and at least 9 torches to get the light levels where we need them. For the cartography building, it's going to be a 9 by 5 building. So we'll get started right here, go down and across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We'll go back five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Bring that over and up. Now we'll do a, uh, a border of red, red, smooth red sandstone. But not a complete border. I'm using dark oak plants that it was added in your material list. They're just a lot easier to get a hold of. And then we'll fill the rest up with dark oak planks. And there's our foundation. Now we're going to use our cut red sandstone and we're going to be set, setting up four here in the front and four in the back. One, we'll come over, skip two blocks and skip one block. And then in the corner, do the same thing in the back. Skip two, add one, skip one, skip two. And we're going to go up eight blocks on that. Do that and be right back. Now that we have the structure of pillar, pillars done, we'll add our cobblestone stair right here at the entry. We'll grab our yellow terracotta, start filling in some. We'll do six blocks there. We'll put one above the door. Six more on this side. On the side, we're going to do a border of yellow terracotta with a window in the middle. Glass pane. On the back, same thing, yet more yellow terracotta. And on this side, we'll do the same we did like we did on the other side. We'll do a border of yellow terracotta and a window pane in the middle. Grab your chiseled red sandstone. We're back to the front again. We'll do a couple here, one above the door, a couple more on that side. On the side of the building, we'll add three. On the back, we'll add two here, one here. We'll leave this open. That's where the balcony is going to go. We'll add three more chiseled red sandstone right there. And it should start looking something like this. Now we'll come to the inside of the build and on that middle dark oak plank we'll add another dark oak plank there and then just to the right of that we'll add two more then we'll start adding some stairs in now we're going to run a row of two long of dark oak planks across here starting with that where that chiseled red sandstone is so two deep all the way across We'll add one over here in the corner, and our last stair is going to go right in there. Just like that. Then we're going to add in two more. And then we're going to work on getting the smooth red sandstone. We're going to add two blocks here. Come to the outside, and we're going to go four across, two deep. We'll use the dark oak fences.
Then we'll start working on our yellow terracotta. Again, like we did on the ground floor on the sides, we're going to do a border of yellow terracotta and put a glass pane in the middle. Go to the other side, do the same. We're going to fill these areas in like we did below with the yellow terracotta. We can set our bed down right there and we're going to give him a table where he has something to work on while he's doing his surveys out here. Now we'll work on the roof. We'll use our red sandstone, smooth red sandstone slabs. We'll start filling this in. When you get to here, we're going to extend this. We'll start extending it from this one here, go four across and just go two out. And that'll take care of your roof. Now we'll come to the front of the build. We'll add in our awnings right at that yellow terracotta right there. We'll do two there, one in the middle, two to the right of that. Come around to the back of the build. We'll add three more, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna break out our buttons. Come back to the front of the build. We'll put two here, two here, below also. On the side, we're gonna give it like eyes as Lemon had said, in case you see this lemon. <laughs> On the back, two here and two there, and then underneath, two right there. Again, we'll add eyes like we did on the other side. We'll add some torches, one torch here in the front. And on the top, we definitely wanna make sure that we wanna add some torches up here. These full blocks, uh, there's a chance that something could spawn up there. That should be enough to cover these here. The bottom half slabs, you don't have to worry about. Come to the inside where we're gonna add at least four more torches that'll provide enough light for the inside. One above each window. We'll do the same thing here, one above that window and that window. That should take care of the light levels inside. Wanna put our door in? You can do it from the inside or the outside, it's up to you. We'll set a chest here for his materials that he needs. And we'll use our cartography table right there. All of these builds I try and do with the, I try to keep in mind of the uh, Minecraft villager type of theme. And that should be your cartography building complete. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's What If the Mesa Had a Village build tutorial uh, for this week's build. So if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, we'll see you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.